uh, has to do with the fact uh, that the dinosaurs never died out. Yes! They went underground and they're waiting for you mammals to build them palaces. <laughs> they sent the birds to spy on your hubris. See, it was the dinosaurs who leaked to human science that it is possible to burn their dead bodies as oil because the dinosaurs giveth and the dinosaurs yanketh it all back. They have colonized the young minds of the boys and increasingly of the girls. The dinosaurs are masters of irony. It was their idea to make little plastic toys of themselves. Plastic is of course made of oil. Toys of course occupy the children's hands. The dinosaurs teach the children to cheat on the Ames test. They survive on lost socks, banana peels, and your ignorance. Don't you understand, you sweaty, hairy monkeys? It is the dinosaurs who are responsible for global warming. They're heating up this terrarium for their impending return. Environmentalism is a distraction. Terrorism is a distraction. Your monkey love lives are distractions. That's why the birds look at you the way they do. And still you feed them bird seed, you ignorant bipeds. Of course the birds are pretty. So are swords, you devolved sacks of warm blood. Don't believe the paleontologist propaganda. Our museums are filled with lies. Our libraries are filled with lies. It's the dinosaur's fault that the boogeyman is under your bed, you stupid human children. It's the dinosaurs who've been sucking your goats, you rancher, you meat farmer, you chupacabra fearing suck fool. I cannot believe you're amused at this. Of course there are no dinosaurs in the algebra books. Maybe the dinosaurs wrote the algebra books to distract us. A great literary sleight of hand, not putting themselves in their own book to the stars, monkeys, to the stars. This spaceships are our only hope because this jungle, this jungle is theirs. Thank you.